Hello and welcome again. Um, in the previous video, uh, we started discussing about the uh, shift row operations and the advanced encryption standard. And if you recall what we did in the last video, we ended up with this uh, um, array here of bytes, uh, which gives me the shift row uh, output. So basically what it is, is you start with, I'm going to scroll up here. You start with a, uh, with a 128-bit uh, block, which is divided into bytes called B0, B1 through B15. And then after you apply the shift rows uh, sublayer, you end up with, let me scroll back down again. You end up with uh, this new 128-bit block, which you just basically you rearrange the block uh, using the shift rows that we covered in the last video. Now, if you're still confused about that, I suggest you go ahead and uh, watch that video again to know how I actually get to that point. So now we have here the new the new answers, B0, B5, B10. And remember, all of these Bs here are bytes or A bits, each one of them. All right, so let me give you like a, a kind of like um, example here. So... So let's say you're going to start with this 128-bit block. And I'm going to apply the shift row um, uh, operation. So I have 128 bits here. So you have to be limited that. Or you can count them. Of course, you're not going to do it. But uh, this is the 128-bit block. Now, the first thing you have to do to apply the shift row is to partition this 128-bit uh, this block into bytes so the first byte will be the first eight bits that are here and then the second byte will be the second eight bits that are here and so on and so forth now i already did that partition and so this this 128 bit block that is right here is exactly the same as this 128 bit block that is right here but this one is partition so you see here i indicated with yellow b0 which is basically just the first eight bits of that 128-bit block. So you count there, the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All the others are the other block, the other sub-blocks, which is, this is going to be B1, B2, B3, B4, B5 is indicated with yellow, and the other ones I indicated with yellow. And the reason this, I actually pay attention to this one, B0, B5, this is the, the sixth uh, byte in this block and b10 and b15 is because after you do the shift row operation this is going to be important in the first part with, when we write it so basically what we have is uh, let's say that again so you start with the 128 bit block which is something like this you divide it into a byte or blocks of a bit which is the same and you indicate those things with b0 b1 and so on until you got to be B15. Now, once you, after you shift rows, what we get is the following. We get this, this expression here. So these are the blocks. Now, how did I get this block that is right here? So remember, let me just call back up here, all the way up. So I get B0 and then I follow by B5 and then I follow by B2. 10 and then I followed by B15 and so on and so forth. That's why I put with yellow B0, B5, B10 and B15 because I wanted to show you exactly with a particular example how that works. So again, this is the original and I indicated B0, B5, B10 and B15 here because they're special here in my example. So after you shift rows, what you, ha what you have here is the first... Uh, a block that appears here after you shift it should be b0 this block that i'm marking that with the arrow that should be b0 now if you look at this the the bytes that are here that's exactly the same bytes that you have here in in b0 so it's zero two ones three zeros one zero let's say that a zero two ones three zeros one zero that's b0 the next one the next uh byte that is here this 8 bit that should be the next one when you uh do the shift row what is the next one the next one let's go all the way up here the next one will be b5 
and what is b5 here b5 is this guy right here this is this eight bits which is one 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 so basically you have five ones and three zeros this b5 will be the second byte after you do the shift row so if you look again here that's exactly what we have this is b5 is four ones is five ones and three zeros which is exactly the b5 that is right here the next byte will be this one will be b10 so it'll be zero zero one one zero one 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 and let's see that one so that should be in this list should be this one right here zero zero one one zero one 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 and that's exactly what we have here that's b10 and the and the fourth byte will be b15 which is one one zero one zero zero one one and i can actually see it from here the la the next byte will be this one that will be the four byte which is so you see these bits that are here are exactly the same bits that are here in b15 and so on so the next one will be what will be this is this is the first byte the second byte the third byte the fourth byte the fifth byte which is this guy right here will be if we could call all the scroll, scroll up that would be b4 okay i'm not going to indicate that but that is the idea so after you uh, do the shift row then you're going to end up with this uh partitioned uh 128 bit block partition into bytes of course you don't want to uh, leave it like this because you want just the 128 bit block which is just just basically remove here this in this case in my notation will be removing these curly braces that i have here and then this guy that is here is exactly the same as this one removing the partition so that's how you transform 128 bit block using the shift row operation it's just a matrix and then you do shifts by rows all right so that's it that's it that's all what what i have to say about the shift row operation now that is only one part of that um of that third layer that we were talking about now the other part will be something different and for the next part we actually have to do a little bit of math uh, some polynomials some uh, multiplication of polynomials and stuff like that so we can actually perform that operation so in the next video we'll talk about the next uh, step there in the third layer for the advanced encryption standard so i'll see you in the next video